Hello, I just bought this fog machine for ten dollars. Uh, it's actually nine dollars eighty-eight from Arthur Davies in Fentry Gully. Um, and I also got this fog liquid one liter for five dollars eighty-eight as well. So it's just a uh, no-name sort of box. A few specs. Yeah, there's nothing much in there. Um, same with the liquid. There's a uh, some data there. But yeah, so it's all all powered up. So I'll just uh, flick the switch. It gives it a little bit of uh, so I've noticed it um, turns off after a little while, so it might be um, overheating. They say it's uh, a uh, indoor one as well. So basically, uh, two minutes of uh, of. Um, fog and then it turns off so i've opened this thing up and yeah, got the power disconnected so the wiring goes the active from the power in goes to a fuse to the switch and the switch to a, a mist i'd say uh, then to the element connection and the neutral side of the element then goes to this semester on top which when it's cooled makes a short to the actual neutral coming in so when this heats up it disconnects the power to the element which then allows um, powers the uh, pump once you have the switch turned on. So what happens is when that semester turn, uh, starts to cool down because the element's turned off, it will uh, turn off after the, the two minutes. Well, so when the element turns off, because this semester's got hot enough, because it's uh, normally closed, so it goes to open, Disconnects the power to the element. The element um, starts to cool down. The pump will turn off when it gets too cold, when that thermistor turns back on to power the element. So that's why it has that turning off for two minutes, or well, turns off at two minutes, and then turns back on. Is that thermistor is opening and closing.